I know it's been a while since God of War Ragnarok has concluded. There are still many questions that need to be answered. Fans have proposed many theories, and the one that has popped up the most is who will be the next villain. Due to how Ragnarok ended, it doesn't seem likely that there are any more threats in the God of War universe. But you be wrong. Today, I'm going to go through the most potential threats that are most likely to appear in the next God of War game, and it's not who you think it is. The first potential villain is a lesser known Norse entity known as Forseti. For those who aren't familiar with Norse mythology, Forseti is known as the God of Justice and also the Son of Baldr. Forseti is a good candidate as a threat for Kratos and Atreus, but not the most likely for many reasons. Since he is the god of justice, it would make perfect sense for him to want to get revenge on Kratos and Atreus for the death of Odin and the destruction of Asgard. However, Forseti is never mentioned in the game, nor is it ever known that Baldr had any children. For that reason, Forseti is unlikely to appear in the Norse world unless the writers of God of War will add him as a mysterious character. The next potential villain is another Norse figure that is actually known in the God of War series, and that is Vidal. Vidal is one of the survivors of Ragnarok in the Norse tales. He is described as being the strongest god in the Norse pantheon, which makes him an even bigger threat. Vidal is a Norse figure that eventually avenges Odin by killing the real Fenrir. We know that Vidal exists in the Norse pantheon due to the armor set being named after him. Vidal is a much better candidate for the next God of War game if the writers stay faithful to the original legends. The next candidate is not from the Norse pantheon, but is a very potential villain, and that is the Egyptian god Ra. Ra is basically the strongest Egyptian god controlling the sun, life, and creation itself. We know already that the Egyptian pantheon has been teased more times than any other mythology in the go god of War so far. Kratos also has some experience in the Egyptian pantheon, according to the Fallen God comic. It's most likely that Atreus will travel to another pantheon looking for the remaining giants, and could possibly get in trouble with the Egyptian God. If this is the case, then Ra will be the most prominent figure in the Egyptian pantheon. The final and most likely villain for the next God of War game is Odin himself. Now, before you go to the comment section, Yes, Odin got his ass kicked by Kratos and Atreus. Yes, a giant fire monster destroyed Asgard. And yes, his literal soul was destroyed by a short, angry, depressed blacksmith. So, you might be wondering, how could he possibly be alive? Well, the answer to this question actually comes from an online theory. Although Odin's soul was destroyed, we know that one of his ravens, Hugin, made it out alive after Ragnarok. Huh, Lugin made it out. Good for him. So the theory is that Odin's ravens had a piece of Odin's soul trapped inside them, therefore preserving a part of his life. To support this theory even further, know that Odin was the only one who could actually communicate with the ravens in the game. This theory is a really good one and could also introduce a whole trio of villains that could bring back Odin to avenge Asgard and kill Kratos and Atreus. 